So I was talking about my new AR glasses. This is called the InReal Airs, and they're AR glasses. And I bought these for two specific reasons. One, I wanted to be able to watch TV and walk with it. And uh, two, I wanted to be able to use it with my Steam Deck to give me a little, like, a bigger screen. So I watched every single YouTube video on this before I bought them, thinking it was going to be good. Now, I knew it was going to be limited because I'm using an iPhone. I knew that ahead of time. I did not get paid to talk about these. I bought this with my own money, and I think I overpaid. Why? I use this to go walk out side, right? It works if you're watching a show that's really bright. If it's a show that's, uh, like I was watching Rings of Power or what's the other one? The Game of Thrones one? I mean, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Dra Dragon. Dragon yeah. yeah, I was watching that. It was a real dark scene <laughs> and the sun was out and real bright and it was like just wearing sunglasses. I was well, just listening to it at that point. That's not the glasses fault. That's that's that episode. And then I switched like a YouTube video and it was a little bit better, but still if it's super bright outside, it's going to kind of compete with what you're seeing on okay. your glasses. So for the most part, it's doing somewhat of the job I wanted it for. So I would give it like a, a five on that, right? Then I use them on the treadmill. I do like a fast walk on the treadmill mm -hmm. and my head's bobbing and the screen kind of just follows your head movements. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for my eyes to focus in on this moving image that's just bouncing all over the place. So it doesn't really work on the treadmill. So I'd give it like a two on that. It was I was trying to watch like Atlanta and it, I couldn't even focus in on anything because everything's bouncing everywhere. It's like being on like a like a roller coaster trying to watch your iPhone or something. <laughs> did it make you sick? A little bit, yeah. It yeah, it really did. I used it for the Steam Deck and I plugged it in and it's only, I don't know if I just, it's because I play my Steam Deck so close to my face, like the screen's already kind of big. This didn't really make that much of a difference. And I lose picture quality in this it's like the picture quality in this is like a projector like a higher end projector maybe not the highest end but a good projector you but you lose some of the detail you yeah. lose it gets too dark in some areas where it's just impossible to see and it gets a little fuzzy around the edges so it's like it's just a kind of a projector so it's a pretty substantial degrading i just don't see the benefit of it i'd rather just use my unless i'm like maybe on a plane or something and i don't want to keep looking down and i want to look ahead maybe maybe that will work but for right now it's not even really great for my Steam Deck. And then if you're an iPhone user, you have to buy a, an adapter to plug into the iPhone and you got to make sure that thing's charged. So if I forget about it and I want to go for a walk and grab this and grab the adapter, this big bulky adapter, and then put it in there and the thing's dead, then I can't use it for anything. So it's kind of like, I kind of wish I didn't get it. I mean, it's a little gimmicky. I think in a couple of, of generations, this is going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But right now not great. The reason why I'm talking about this is because I've seen a lot of people talk about this and want to put it on their Christmas wish list and all that. If you got something else in mind, like ask for the Steam Deck, that's better than these because these, in my opinion, just aren't, aren't worth it. I don't see yeah. myself using this all the time. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out our channel. If you want to check out more videos, just click here. Um, or if you want to listen to more episodes, go to mznow.tv and don't forget to subscribe.